sisters were put in it, my older sisters were put in it, so I was also put in that and other activities in ballet just stuck and from a very young age I decided that's what I want to do forever. Um, everyone was trained in classical ballet, but then they all branched off to other things. So I have a sister that does musical theater type dancing in California, and I have a sister who was a Radio City Rock Cat for, I think, 12 or so seasons. Then I have another sister who did, um, who danced with the Martha Graham Company in New York, the Modern Dance. So everyone kind of did their own thing after that, and I just kind of stuck with ballet. Um, it was very competitive. We were always, you know, trying to outdo each other, and so it, it was like a good, healthy competition where we were all, you know, striving to be better than each other, I guess. I started teaching. I started assisting my teacher, Natalie Krasowska, when I was about 16 years old. I would travel around with her and demonstrate for her, and then eventually she started having me sub some of her classes and then teach some of the younger children's classes and then eventually she started giving me some older classes um, and next year I'll be going on my 25th year of teaching. Uh, not really. Because <laughs> um, I don't really, I don't teach my daughter so, because um, she doesn't listen to me. <laughs> but um, it's pretty much stayed the same. Like I want to push the dancers in a healthy, positive way. Um, and I hope the same thing for my daughter too. Um, not let her get too wiggly in class. Have a good time in class, but also when it's time to get down to business, it's time, you know. Oh, there's so many good parts. Um, I, I love that when we are working on something and we're getting giving corrections and the dancers have that aha moment and they're finally able to apply the corrections and understand. It's really cool to see that happen and see their growth in that way. BNT2 is the studio company of North Texas Conservatory. Um, I was wanting to create a more performance opportunities for the students by joining into different festivals that I get invited to bring people to perform at. Um, and then there's also that competitive side of it that some students really thrive in. Um, and I know some of ours are dipping their toes in for the first time. Um, I enjoy that, even though that's not the main focus but it's, it's another fun process of uh, getting to perform more and getting that feedback from other people that you typically wouldn't hear from, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> more performance opportunity, um, getting to do variation studies or ballet studies where they're getting to learn um, more advanced parts in ballets, and learning principal roles and learning what it takes to do those roles so they have a really great appreciation for what the company members at b and um, put in to each performance. Well, dance is very much like a family thing. You need your family support because it is a lot of hours put into it and a lot of dedication for the dancer and understanding from the families. So it is definitely like a family um, effort to do ballet um, or any type of dance and I would just say that um, I think it's a version of cop quote that don't try to be better than other people but be better than what you did the day before each time you come into the studio. Don't skip class. That's a good one. <laughs> Very true.